Let's start with alkaline water. We can save a lot of oxygen here and just say it's bullshit. I have a bottle of alkaline water that I was going to bring up for the podcast, but I left it downstairs. I was filming some bullshit videos with it. On the side of the bottle, it says immunity booster. Complete bullshit. You could drink way too much alkaline water and make your body too alkaline. It's not a good thing. Your body's used to drinking water that has a neutral pH. Water is usually pH of seven. That's just what it is. Alkaline water is bullshit. You don't need to alkalinize your body. The idea that you need to be excessively alkaline or that alkalinity will prevent cancer is total horseshit. Your body regulates your pH. That is the uh, the, the amount of hydrogen ions or the, you know, the log of the hydrogen ion concentration in your body so closely, 7.35, 7.45, you can get metabolic alkalosis, you can get respiratory alkalosis. There's all sorts of problems. You can become too alkalotic and you could probably become too alkalotic by drinking too much alkaline water, too much baking soda. Your body needs it to be a certain pH. That's how the cellular reactions in your body function. I also think this is kind of connected a little bit with apple cider vinegar, which I also think is bullshit. It has no real benefits for humans other than perhaps if you have underlying stomach issues and you actually don't have enough stomach acid, drinking something that's super acidic might help be a surrogate acid, but why wouldn't you just correct the root cause of your stomach acid that's low in the first place? Apple cider vinegar is bullshit, but apple cider vinegar won't alkalinize you. I don't think it'll make you acidic either. I heard a doctor on YouTube saying that apple cider vinegar would make you more acidic and that was a cure for the chronic alkalinity because of our hypercortisolemia. I'm just thinking, oh my God, this guy's so full of shit. It's total bullshit. So. Alkaline water, bullshit. You don't need that. Drink regular, clean, pure water. If you want to remineralize it, great. I don't think it's necessary for most of us, but alkaline water, that's all I need to say. It's bullshit. You don't want high pH alkaline water. Don't do that. You don't want to drink a bunch of acid all the time either. Don't drink uh, apple cider vinegar unless you want to erode the tooth enamel. If you have reflux, if you have GI issues, figure out the cause of those. Don't use apple cider vinegar as a... Um, They'll use apple cider vinegar as a crutch there either. So that's alkaline water, structured water. Okay, so many proponents of structured water would say that there is this fourth phase of water. Uh, Gerald Pollack, who's at the University of Washington, has, has done some interesting research on exclusion zone of water. They put water next to a gel membrane and they do see this exclusion zone where water may in a liquid form form a gel-like structure where it is a little bit more hexagonal. He says it's like ice, but it's not ice. Okay, maybe. Um, now, to extrapolate that to devices that cost $500 to $2,000 and move the water in a vortex and that structures water is too much for me. Does my water coming out of a uh, reverse osmosis filter, is that dead water? Is that unstructured water? I just can't, I can't get behind this, guys. I just don't think that I need to put my water through a vortex and spin it and restructure it. Um, According to most of these websites, I could restructure the water just by doing a dance naked in the moonlight in my house in Costa Rica and putting it in the sun. So maybe I'll just do that to try and restructure it. That's obviously a joke. I think if you do reverse osmosis water, that's about as good as you can get. I don't think you need to restructure it. Please don't spend $500 on a device that spins your water in a vortex and restructures it. Uh, if that were the case, all the water coming out of your toilet would be very structured and you should just flush your toilet and collect all the water because it's creating this beautiful vortex and you should just drink your toilet water. It's structured water, right? So I'm, I'm unconvinced about structured water. I think it's a, basically a pretty big scam. I think most of the research on it has not been in any way, shape or form repeated in any, in any consistent way. And I, I, I really look forward to somebody doing some consistent research on structured water and showing it's better for humans. But I think that it's a scam and I wouldn't do it. And I don't think crystals are gonna structure your water either. Don't fall for that. Just for the sake of completeness, there is one study that shows the potential benefits of being drinking pH 8.8 alkaline water, drinking water as an adjunct in the treatment of reflux disease. Bullshit. You know what else will make your stomach contents very alkaline? A proton pump inhibitor or an H2 blocker, which have horrible consequences. Yes, if you drink baking soda or pH 8.8 water, it will cause your stomach acid to be less acidic, which is a real problem for your digestion in general. It doesn't fix reflux. You're still going to reflux. You're just going to reflux more alkaline contents of the esophagus. You're not going to digest your food. You're not going to absorb your nutrients. And you have an increased rate of dementia and I believe an increased rate of uh, community acquired pneumonia if we look at the studies with proton pump inhibitors. So bullshit. Um, interestingly, pH 8.8 alkaline water instantly denatures pepsin. Uh, that's, a, that's an important digestive enzyme. Uh, perhaps not something you want to denature. So I don't know why you want to use alkaline water to do that just like you wouldn't want to be doing a whole bunch of baking soda in your life. That, that's going to cause problems too. So let your body 
adjust its asset alkaline balance. There was a podcast I did a long time ago where I actually talked about the ability of children to self-select acid and alkaline foods. There are indeed acid and alkaline foods. Your body will adjust and your urinary pH will be the ultimate arbiter. Um, generally, kids will mix and balance acidic and alkaline foods. I don't think either is bad. You don't want all alkaline foods. You don't want all acidic foods either. Uh, I think this is one of the reasons that you could make or one of the one of the stances you could take for including fruit or some plant products like fruit, but not vegetables on your animal-based rather than carnivore diet. The carnivore um, uh, acolytes will hate that statement. 